So we're down here at the Herdwatch stand at the National Plowing Championships. I'm joined with Fabian Payo from Herdwatch. Fabian, the Herdwatch has, um, is a big player now in the Irish market. Tell us a little bit about where the idea came from and, and what you have got to offer. Right, uh, well I suppose Herdwatch at this stage is an eight-year project really. Um, and what it came from was, as being part of Farm Relief Services, I was the IT manager there, and uh, not being a farmer myself, but working with farmers, I could see that there was a problem with compliance, paperwork, and I just kind of thought, there isn't something out there that's easy to use for farmers, and 90% of farmers weren't using any software at all. So that's where the idea came from. I pitched it to Peter Byrne, CEO of FRS, uh, and uh, I suppose the rest is history, as they say, and that's, you know, we grew from there couple of years of R&D at the start to get the app uh, out to the market, uh, which happened what back in 2014, January 2014, so over five years ago. Uh, and in that time frame, we've gone from zero to 10,000 farms using our, our platform. So yeah, it's, it's, it's actually kind of strange to even say this, you know, yeah, yeah. but we are the leading uh, farm management platform in the UK and Ireland. Yeah. So what, um, for those that don't know what Herdwatch is, what can, do, what can the app do, what can this technology do? So Herdwatch is really all about simplifying processes, moving people from pen and paper to the digital world in the easiest possible way. So it's about making paperwork redundant and making better decisions on farm. Um, I suppose I always say people get Herdwatch for the compliance, so your board BI audits, your cross compliance, taking the hassle away from those because it's so easy to record information on the go, but then they stay because of all the management features that we're putting in there, breeding, weight recording, Etc. Etc. We're constantly building on that, you know, as a platform. Yeah. Uh, look, you ran the Farm Smart series with ourselves, which which went very well, and it's basically just how Herdwatch can make a farmer's life easier. If we were to, to zone in, I suppose, on, on dairy farms, what are dairy farmers using the app for? Well, that, I suppose dairy farmers will be the ones that get the most out of our feature set. So, for all the way from breeding to compliance, right? Um, I suppose the, the the biggest one for dairy farmers and suckler farmers is the breeding. So one of the things we've done is we built a, essentially, you could say almost like a process where step by step, Herdwatch helps them make sure that every cow is in calf at the right time, right? Yeah. Um, so farmers walk in the field, notices a cow in heat, they can log that literally in five seconds in Herdwatch. 21 days later, they get a notification, get the cow AI'd. Those records, if they're using an AI company, flow directly from ICBF into Herdwatch. Mm -hmm. The next thing that happens is Herdwatch will tell them to watch out for repeats all that through push notifications at the right time. So you're not flooded with information, you're just focusing on an element of your breeding process that makes sure you get to the next stage. Yeah. You know it's the most costly, uh, I suppose, error that a farmer can make is not having their cows in calf at the right time. So yeah. for a dairy farmer, that's the biggest thing we do. Outside of compliance, which of course everybody has to do anyway. Mm -hmm. And the idea there is when the compliance audit comes, you don't have to scramble for paperwork for two days before that, you know, you just literally push a couple of buttons, give your reports to your auditor, everybody's happy. Very good. And I just want to pull you back then, registering calves is very easy though, it's a busy time on dairy farms, even on beef farms in the springtime, you know, registering calves is a very, very simple process. The thing about registering calves now is we take it for granted. Uh, we're actually going to celebrate our millionth calf registration over the next couple of months. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll be talking about that, but literally, it's one of those features that farmers now take for granted. Within 30 seconds of having cow, ca uh, tagged the calf, you have it registered, sent to the department. You know, two days later, you get your papers in the yeah. post. It's just, you know, we, we build that to be fast, and that's what it is. It just gets the job done. Yeah. You mentioned there the board be audit, and you know, you, there's, there's no paperwork anymore. It's all done through the app. Just for someone, for, re for medicine records, and talk us through that process where you can just take a photo and everything's registered. Yeah, so the, the, one of the, most recent sort of uh, features we've added is the ability to scan uh, remedies into the app directly. So it's literally like taking a picture, like you said. You put your phone up, scan the um, the barcode on the on the medicine, and it pumps in that information, so you don't have to type it in. Uh, it just takes maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds out of the process. But when you do that two or three, four times a day, you know it all adds up. And I suppose one of the things that I'm proud of stuff, and I'm not a farmer, but we ask our farmers. How much time do you think you save on paperwork using Herdwatch? And they've come back to us in their thousands, and three hours a week is the average that came back. If you multiply that by 52 weeks, that's a significant amount of time that they can spend on their family, you know, on themselves, or maybe on you know, other things on the farm that may be more sort of critical. So that's really kind of what, what the compliance is about. Just making sure you get you hit the, the right note by spending as little time as possible on it.
Fabian, you've got a new brand ambassador was, uh, launched there two or three weeks ago. Who is it and tell us a little bit more about it. Well, he's right here, uh, I suppose, Rory Best. Uh, we're very, very excited about this. I mean, um, and for me, it's about the story that we're trying to build. Uh, met Rory last week uh, on his farm. Uh, and Rory, as everybody will know at this stage, is retiring from, from rugby. Uh, but he's not retiring completely. He's moving back to his passion, which is livestock farming. Uh, and we're going to help him transition from rugby back into farming. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be traveling a lot. I mean, you know, even after he's retired. And with her, he's going to be able to keep an eye on everything that's going on on the farm. And that's really what we're looking forward to helping him with. Of course, it won't hurt if they win the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not counting on that. Yeah. He's, his career is just phenomenal. Yeah. Leadership, longevity, everything is just, you know, for us, it's a model, you know. So yeah. that's why we, we decided to partner yeah. up with him. Very good. And finally, Fabian, is there anything in the pipeline for the near future? Any new developments with the app? Or? There is. Actually, right next to Rory, you'll see a screenshot there of, uh, of our next generation application, which is about 90% complete. Uh, we spent 12 months on that project, 12 developers, and it's literally going to be the same, just better, faster, leaner, meaner, okay? Uh, the idea of that new app is it's going to provide us with a platform that's going to be having the flexibility, the built-in, uh, I suppose, uh, um, features that are going to allow us to put, give, more, give back more to farmers, first of all, and also expand to other markets. So that's really, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for talking to us today, Fabian. Thank you.